know what a honky tonk woman is? Great, we share something, because I don't know either. Let's just play it. There are some hard spots, but you just pick your favorite choruses and your favorite verse and a little bit of the solo. So it's a pick and choose, unless you want to play the whole thing. In that case, you're just a little bit crazy. However, let's just go, have fun, enjoy. Welcome to my help section and my help you're gonna need, even if you're a honky-tonk woman yourself. How you should go about it? I would suggest, well, it's, this has become pretty long. So it's for study, but also learning the piece. When you learn the piece, I suggest you take a verse and a chorus and the end for a start. So, and that you learn. Then you might take uh, two verses and one chorus 
and the chorus will repeat as you learned it and then go to the end. There are many verses now. So according to your skill and also to your taste, you take the verse or the two verses you like most with the licks you like most. And maybe also the chorus where it's the most. It, either it's like this one or some one of the other. You can just pick and choose. Now, another thing. I played a, you know, a left hand I quite like. It's a little bit fancy. I will show it to you. But also you can play. It sounds really nice with the simple left hand like this one. Rocky left hand, the standard rocky left hand. <laughs> You see, that's just just great. I just wanted to have something else, and uh, the left, this left left hand I play. You can play, but you don't have to. Is this one? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Again, one and two and three. This one comes twice. We go back. One and two and three and four and one and now back. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay. And when you change the chords, I very often just change it like this one. Uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I anticipate the fifth. This makes it easier to tie down like. Instead of. And then it's, it's harder. So. You know, many of you know my dirty tricks already. Just tie it uh, down. We gotta move on. I gotta show some speed here. German efficiency, uh, cause it's just too much. A couple of details that I deem to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, the rest is in the slow replay. If you want to look at your favorite uh, lick or whatever, you just go to the slow replay and pick it. Okay, so let's go. Um, when we play, for now I will uh, play, show, it, show, the de uh, show the details with this left hand. Okay, so. Here you will have a type of slide that will come back a couple of times with the first finger. You don't have to. You can also play many of those without the slide, but so it has elements for the advanced and for the, let's say, middle range kind of breed. Okay. Just a really uh, easy first verse. You might want to learn that one. And A7. And here we have these fills. So you might even want to learn the melody without the fills first. Like wait, 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 wait. Theme. comes. Here. Here I trill a lot also here and you can trill the outer, you can either roll it but I think I also just trill the outer voices.
wait, 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 wait. Uh. And that's it. This is already, everybody can play this without the hard fills in between. Okay, so the, 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 the chorus would then go, um, bam, ba, ba, bam, ba, ba, bam, where is it, where is it, Christian? Christian, here we go. Uh. Wait, here comes the trill, here comes the stuff you won't want to play from now, and then we go. Okay, this is the basic, how you call that, the grid, uh, the bones of the piece. And the heartbeat, uh, the heartbeats are actually the first, where I do funny stuff. Mm, like, uh, uh, sounds like a didgeridoo, huh? Okay. show you a couple of those okay um, we are in the first verse we are in bar number eight um, where this starts and it sounds great if you speed it up it sounds like $500 but it's only worth like 80 cents and what let's have a look so we are in D7 duck up yeah just move two five over here move two five over that's the trick the finger setting makes this easy it's like a like a somehow German snake uh, that is crawling over German stones like and, and again start here and setting over and setting over here on F and B flat and here you see and then it goes on and it comes back in that just that shape a couple of times I was merciful in a couple of moments and quite you know vicious in others so everybody has some gets some food he deserves or she now we have um, in the in the chorus in the first chorus we are now in bar number um, better, uh, bar number 18, where the first chorus starts. Yes, and that's quite rock and rolly, quite rocky. Again, we are here. We we grab the the five here. And that's really easy to play. And then we change. Again. And second part of the chorus. This is Dronelik. If you are familiar with my blues channel, if not, you better subscribe. You save about two to eight years of your lifetime uh, learning with me. So, um, for free, for free. So, and, and then we have And then comes the second verse already. So you just 
learn the first verse and the first vo uh, what chorus with the fills, okay? The fills are getting a little harder by the time. So we now... And you see also, the, I changed the melody in the verse always a little bit, you know, make, keep it interesting, keep it interesting. That's a trick I always recommend. If you yourself are not interesting, make the music you make interesting. Here. And. So you see, melody gets a different syncopation. And here also you see a relative of the first um, fill one and two and three and four and one here this pattern here you know you remember finger setting five two one five two one remember that one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and regular uh, melody again Same again, we know. And again, we have the we have the almost a similar figure, a bit of the drone leg, you see. And off we go. The heat is on for the. But da 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 bum bum. Where am I? Chris, I'm lost. I'm lost. Ah yeah, for the second chorus now. Okay, and there we have same, same, a little bit different, and that wasn't a little bit wrong, which is also necessary sometimes. Where am I? Also, yeah, one and two and three and and four and one and two and three and you see, you did rediscover elements. It's an extra. After a while, this thing really is nice and it, it's like it becomes your genetic print. It's it becomes part of your body, and you can use it much much easier. Uh, that was in bar number forty-five. Then we have boring, boring, boring. We know all that. And, uh, okay, and then we have. And that is a little bit harder. You see, it's like this. One and two and three and four and four and. Played almost like a triplet, like four and four and. Try also these trills. If you play these trills here, look what I do actually. I cheat, always do. I don't play it like a roll around, which is quite hard. Maybe sometimes I do, maybe sometimes I'm too lazy, but you can always do one note and this treat this as one note also. You see? Dun, dun, la, 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 la. Or you just treat the outer voices, meaning lower, lowest voice and highest voice. But it's nice if you play some trill here to hold the sound, to hold the sound. And we have that, 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 that. that's easy to follow in the slow replay, okay? Ah, uh, is there more? Uh, there is more, but I have to stop at some point and assume that the better players, the better players want to go on and the better players also don't need an explanation, don't need uh, the detail from Master Christian, from Big Daddy, okay? Because they, they see themselves and they know how to work on it, okay? Boring, 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 boring. Nice little line. I come from here. This everybody can play, even even uh, a lamp. Now. Pay attention also with these 
uh, with the finger settings to this. And now, here, move over, 2-5, you know this trick already. Now, let we arrive here in bar number 61, okay? And uh, like two bars further on, we have one, da, 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 da. you know this from Boogie Woogie, uh, these roads. I did really little, I did very few on purpose. Here, and again. You see? So, work from there, okay? The thing is, if I do it too long, everybody will click away. They will come into the tutorial, say it's two hours long. No way, that's not for me. So, I gotta keep it. In at a certain limit and help you with the first part which I did if you're more expert then there's a lot for you you also especially for this kind of song you should consider buying the MIDI file where you can study this uh, at home like you have this keyboard I will pause again what is a MIDI file and how why you can study with it um, so easily uh, I hope you like it now here's the slow replay I wish you a wonderful weekend all the best from Berlin uh, take care, stay smart and stay safe.
I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.